Hey music fans, uh, of course in particular rock fans, welcome um, to the uh, Musical People and Journeys show, MPJ. Um, this is a single album review, uh, it's taken from our main show uh, where we review a whole bunch of albums and this month uh, is pretty exciting. We've got the likes of uh, Kasabian, Five Finger Death Punch, Machine Head, Panic at the Disco, Silver Sun Pickups, Muse, and I promise you some really cool surprises of bands that you've never heard of um, because it's, uh, it's all part of the journey. Um, so please go and check out our YouTube channel um, if you enjoy the show uh, and check out more reviews. And uh, of course, the old YouTube plea. Please like and subscribe and please enjoy. Thanks very much. So next on stage, the people have spoken. The will of the people is Muse. Muse on their new album, Will of the People. What will the people think? Well, the most important person, we are going to start this off with the most important person. So let me tell you what I think. Nah, we're going to start with Dave. Dave, what do you think <laughs> of Muse? You must have heard of Muse. Was this uh, an album I, you were thinking I, about? I've definitely heard of Muse. Not a fan of the band at all. Never have been, despite that. Sorry, is your name Chris? Um, no. <laughs> But one, one of their songs, actually, funnily enough, is one of my favourite songs to play on guitar. So, go figure. Um, but, yeah, no, this, I mean, it starts off really, really well. The, the title track, Will of the People, I actually, when I was listening to that, I thought, well, I might actually like this and was quite surprised. And then, no, it just tails off after that. Um, I think it's his vocals, really, I think is my biggest problem with it. I just find them too screechy. Um, what Matt he Bellamy, does, yeah. Yeah, what he does guitar-wise, I think, is, is incredible um, at times. And musically, as a band, I think they are really, really good. Um, I, I think this probably shows my level of maturity, but the last track title did really make me smile. Um, but, yeah, overall, it's, it's just it, not really my title? taste. Um, We're Fucking Fucked, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's great, isn't it? It's so good. It's so good. Um, I'll, well, I'll, I'll finish on that, but, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, all right, interesting. Um uh, Trish, are you a Muse fan? I think you are, aren't you? I am. I've seen them a couple of times at festivals. Um, Will of the People has a strong set of songs on the album. My favourite being Compliance. Muse remain masters of what they are doing. Nine records in, it is inevitable that anything they do will have a particular sheen, but keeping their own distinctive sound. So uh, you said you've seen them a couple of times. When was the last time you saw them? Um this year really they yeah they headlined at Isle of Wight Festival ah and were they were they playing no they wouldn't be playing their new stuff then yeah. would they so uh, no they were oh were they okay yeah 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 and and were they any good they're they're brilliant live you know the whole night show the the music yeah they put on a good show cool excellent um well talking of, of muse um the uh, I mean and he is a pitcher Let's be honest about it. Um, Ian. <laughs> Thank you. I um, This album I was introduced to through Radio 2. I, I like a little bit of Radio 2 on. And oh, Compliance was playing. Yeah. Compliance was just playing. It was quite high on this uh, playlist. And, oh, what a song. Just that opening. It's like it just grabs you by the kahunas and shakes you up and down. And you know you're fucking fucked for the rest of the album because you are in for a ride. Um, <clears throat> and then when I saw that it was on the play, the rock review list, oh my God, I was jumping out. I was so pleased. This is the album that I listen to the most on this playlist, without a shadow of doubt. Uh, as you said earlier, uh, the title, uh, I, I can't remember the, who it was. I think it was Dave or Trish said, uh, the title, The Will of the People, what a great opener. It's brilliant. I cannot cannot wait to see them live yes i'm going to see them at milton Keynes bowl next year with cully uh, it's just oh i cannot wait cannot wait I've never seen them before so i was very interesting interested to hear with uh, how they compare live to how good the album is so uh, that's cool oh uh, other songs won't stand down i mean that is just the best metal song i mean rock song i've ever heard it's just fantastic and ghosts I thought that really typified his voice. I totally get where you're coming from, Dave. There, his go, his uh, vo vocals are definitely Marmite, hundred um, percent. It's like um, uh, Keen bands like that. If you if you can't get on with the vocalist, 
it, it's going to taint your view. Uh, I thought the uh, the song all about ha- uh, Halloween. I can't remember what it's talking Well, I thought it was brilliant. Really clever song. It's I kind of got that. You know that Backstreet Boys did that uh, no, that Halloween song back in the nineties. Um, can't remember which one it was. Um, but uh, I, I thought they that had a good energy to it, and I thought Muse did the the same brought the same energy uh, to to that Halloween style, but made it their own. It was fantastic, really good, and of course the last track just gives you an opportunity to say we are fucking fucked again um, the album the, the track that you're thinking of is uh, bizarrely you make me feel like it's halloween that's it that's the one <laughs> yeah that's it I, I knew it had the halloween in it I, i've described this as a powerhouse album absolutely powerhouse album interesting uh paul yeah, but, take a deep breath here yeah. <laughs> okay UK Outfit Muse's ninth album is billed as another concept album about a man sick of the dystopia in which he finds himself stuck in. However, that man doesn't exactly do much, do anything about it. Just looks out at the world, throws his arms akimbo and goes back to sulk in his room. I first have heard of Muse from my daughter 20 years ago declaring that they're the best band in the world and that they were now main, mainstream. I thought that was interesting as I hadn't heard of them uh, at the time. It took another three years for them to achieve international success with Black Holes and Revelations. It seems to me Muse dwell on on several modes of concept. The two main themes being the government is trying to control me, but I love my freedom and I won't let them. The other, I'm so horny, my balls have started knocking on my vocal box. <laughs> and Matt Bellamy's guitar work and vocals oh, betray, betray that state of, <laughs> of affairs. Will of the People obviously explores these themes. It is theatre, passionate on times and thoroughly enjoy, uh, enjoyable modern theatrical rock. However, a concept album, it is not. The starting concept 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 quickly fades and on times they're too busy trying to include hints of other artists work including their previous work that they lose track of what they're intended to do the monikers are endless from mockery of vincent prime's uh, theater epilogue epilogue in you make me feel like halloween the subwoofer hub uh, hubs of uh, imagine dragons on one stand one stand down to ethropia uh, including uh, a loop of Donna Summers, I feel, I feel love. It may not be for everyone, but if you're prepared to step outside your normal comfy rock genre, you won't, you won't go far wrong with listening to Muse's "Will of the People." Wow! Wow! Okay. Yeah! Wow! That was fantastic, yeah. Donna Summer. Absolutely nailed it. <laughs> completely got. I would never have thought of that. Yeah. But completely, utterly, you're right. Uh, it's really, not on that track. It, it, it's oh, really, no, I'd follow that up. Well, it, it's just really interesting because of what uh, some of the, the the comments that Ian made. Because and um, and for me, this album is one of the most frustrating albums. Um, of, well, actually, no, it's not. It, it's frustrating because there are moments of sheer brilliance. Um, and and actually, I'm the polar opposite to to what Ian said. Um, the first the first track, "Will of the People," I agree with everybody, is the track of the album. It's fantastic. And then "Compliance and Liberation" is just pop trash. It's rock pop trash. It's awful. I hated them. I absolutely hated them. And then they get back on track with "One Stand Down" and "Ghosts." I'm thinking, wow, yes, this is really good. And then, then they, they that parody. Uh, you're absolutely uh, of enterprise um, on. Um, I hated you. Make me feel like it's Halloween. Absolutely hated it. That was rubbish. And then the rest of the album is fantastic. And I tell you what, I I, I applaud them. They went back up in my status of you know when we uh, when we um, midnight oil for example when they were talking about um, you know the the, the 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 environment and everything else as well. I. I just love the fact that say like because to a point, you know, there's only so much we can do. We rely on governments to save us, and and we will do what our bit. But it's down to the big guys with it. And I love the fact that they're simply saying we're fucked, <laughs> we're fucking fucked, guys. You know, because it's I just thought that for me was like the if if teens or people are listening to this one and want to get a message about our environment and the state of the world and the way we're going, 
that is going to hit home. And hopefully people will go like, yeah, maybe we are. Maybe we should do something about it. And then for me, it was just like, oh, let's not drone on about this, this, this. I just get hit the message straight where it is. We're fucking fucked. And I thought that was absolutely a brilliant message to have on. So so for me, it, it just, again, a bit, a bit like Silver Sun Pickups, it had a little bit of identity crisis, almost like they were trying to be commercial in some bits, but maybe going back to their roots um, and doing what they're really good at. Um, and you're right, there's some... I mean, it's frustrating because, like, there was some stuff in there that was really good, really good rock, really good. Um, anyway, so um, so that that was yeah, that was my opinion. I, 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 I laugh at what pause are because you're absolutely right. I mean, when they hit on those some of those guitarists and arrangements, it's like wow, okay, that was absolutely really good. Uh, but there we go, right? Okay, um, well, let's find out why our radius could be a bit of a split down the middle, but we shall find out. Um, uh, so yeah, um, who did we start with? We started with um, Dave, didn't we? Dave. Yep. Yep. Um, I mean, even with what I said about it, I still got to give it a uh, two and a half out of five because there is some really solid um, musicianship on the album. Yeah. Yeah. Trish. Three and a half out of five. Three and a half out of five. Ian. I can't do the backgrounds on this. Oh. I can't put my gold stars up. Oh. It's a five out of five. Oh. Okay, Paul. Uh, it's a four for me. A four? Oh, was it supposed to be that high? Okay. That's a five for anybody else. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I mean, well, good thing. That could be Volbeat status. Yeah, no, uh, four and a half is Volbeat status. Anyway, of uh, which someone has received four and a half. So. They have, they have. Um, uh, uh, three and a half for me. Um, it, it, there are some. Uh, there were some really good b- b- bits in this one. So anyway, okay. So we're looking at uh, six, seven, eleven, thirteen and a half, eighteen and a half. That's good. That's good. That's really good. That's not far off. Uh, not far off at all. Solid. So, so I think what we're saying is that actually overall it's a pretty solid album, really. Um, so well done, Muse. Now, who if we get to our penultimate act the act that has uh, the most listens on um, on Spotify um, as to why they have made the headline act. Who can that be? Um, well, let's go backstage for a live interview because joining us on this show is none other than absolutely nobody. Um, so, um, right, who's next?